Hi guys, this is Rack and Load and this is another out of box look at a product. I hate calling it an unboxing, although it is an unboxing, but oh, just that word, it's, I don't know, it's just not good. It sends a shiver down my spine. So here at Rack and Load Towers, we call it out of box. So here is an out of box look at the infrared zoom. So here we have the box, really well presented. It's almost like Christmas when you when you open these things up. It's, it's the way they do it. I've noticed on other stuff to be fair, like like Aimpoint and uh, Element and stuff like that. You know that do optics. I don't know. It's just it's just the thrill of opening the box up. It's really quite cool. But anyway, let's have a look at the zoom then. So let me show you the box first. Really nice box that it comes in um, and on the back it gives you all the specs which is quite nice so all your specs there I might just read them out just to sort of get them all out of the way and it tells you what's in the box there so obviously the zoom power adapter USB cable battery uh, two batteries I think charger storage bag neck strap hand strap manual lens cloth uh, dual FOV infrared lens, uh, high rev rev resolution when I get my teeth in, thermal detector, high image quality, HD AMOL LED display, try saying that really fast, quick replacing charging, recharging battery pack, high frame frequency, 50 hertz, 20 times magnification eyepiece, digital zoom, times one, times two, times three, and times four. Built in 32 gig storage supports photographing and video recording. So if you're a YouTuber doing all your hunting stuff, this thing is gonna rock. Built in Wi-Fi module, infrared outdoor app support, built in digital compass and motion sensor, user-friendly user interface, ultra clear mode, support, PIP and pixel calibration functions, whatever that is. And like I said, there is an app that you can get as well to put on your Apple phone or your uh, Google phone or what's the word, Android phone. So that is pretty, pretty cool. But let's have a look at it. Now I have, this isn't a review guys, okay? This is an out of box, closer look at. There's a big difference. So, but I have had a little play with this thing, you know, just uh, chasing the dog round with it in the back garden um, and just having a look how this thing works and seeing where all the heat's disappearing out of my house. So yeah, I think I need to re-insulate. Um, but yeah, it's it's really cool. I'm really, really clear. So when you open the first part of the box, it is magnetic, which I do like that. And I think to be fair, when you, when you're not using it, you're going to put it away um, in the box anyway, you know. So that's nice, nice sort of intro there. Thanks you for purchasing an infrared, um, and you know gives you a bit of bit of sort of info on infrared, I guess. And then here we have the hard case that it is presented in. I'll show you that in a minute though. Let's show you all the boring stuff first. You have to sort of build up to the good stuff. So here's a quick start guide, which is really nice. This is what blokes need, quick start. They don't wanna be sifting through a massive Bible of um, instructions. So it's got some QR codes as well, so you can sort of jump straight in to um, like the warranty and a guide online. And I think there's YouTube um, bits and pieces as well. So really clear, really sort of simple to use, gives you the specs as well, which I've pretty much read out, but there's all your measurements and stuff like that, how to install the battery pack, everything you really need to know to get you going. Bit of foam there, so we'll just knock the camera about, sorry guys. So a bit of foam there. Not that that really does anything apart from protect it. And then look, two boxes here. One is your charger, so there's your, charger so expect to find that in the box okay so there's your charger and then 
in the second box and I have looked at this and I thought it's quite cool. All of the different plugs you might need wherever you may be going in the world. So there's like the UK one, um, is that the US one? There's just all, all different ones. So I think that'll pretty much, is that a, is that a razor one? Is that a shaver plug? No, it probably isn't. But if it is, why would you want a thermal in the bathroom? Oh, don't know, maybe I've... Yeah, we won't even go there, I guess. Um, that looks like... Oh, that's USB uh, charger there. So, yeah, really, really well thought out. This is... Oh, got that the wrong way around. Where have I? So, yeah, really, really well thought out. You know, the, the detail that goes into this. So, you're going to be able to charge this pretty much wherever you are you know, while you're having the shave by the looks of it. Um, so that is the box initially. Let's move the box out of the way. Out of shot there. Will it go off screen? No, it won't. Let's move it over there. And then here is the hard case that you get, which is really quite nice and sturdy. Decent handle on it. Loops there. Two zips. Let's get it unzipped. And open her up. Right, so first of all, the top of this case is like a, a zipped compartment. And it looks like here are all your bits and pieces. So charging lead, uh, what's that? Carry strap, lens cloth, uh, another strap there. So. Plenty of bits and pieces to sort of fill that there. So that's probably all your essential bits that you need, apart from the main bit that you're going to need, obviously, which is the, the, the zoom itself. That's nicely sort of separated with this spacer here. That, so that's pretty cool. And then before we get the actual unit out itself, I think this will be a spare battery pack. I'm pretty much guessing it is. Yeah, that's a spare battery pack. I'm not going to get that out of the packet. Um, so that's the spare battery pack. And then I like this. So rather than trying to get your fingers in to try and pull this thing out, you just pull the tab here and it, it all lifts out nicely. And that is the unit itself. So how nice is that? It feels really, really good quality. It's not the lightest. Uh, where is the weight of it? I've put the instruction, the spec sheet away. So it's not the lightest. I'll throw in um, the weight of it on the screen. But, it, the, well, it doesn't really matter because the image quality is just amazing. It really is amazing. It actually, in fact, blew me away. And I've, I've messed about with a few of these now and yeah, I was pretty much taken back by this. So, there are all your function keys on top. Okay, you've got infrared logo there. This is your battery compartment here. So if you open this, I hate doing this sort of stuff on camera. Demo in. So you turn that and you, the battery, I think just pops out. I could be wrong. Oh, I've got to give it a pull. There we go. There's the battery. So it just pulls out like that. So that is like an enclosed unit. Okay. To put it in, push it all the way in like so. Twist that and close it down. And that's it. Your battery is in. You can attach to a tripod if you wish, because you've got the, forget what you call it, but the thready bit there. And there's your strap. It's got infrared on the strap there. Yeah, I think that, mm, don't know whether it's leather, but it feels nice, feels like leather. Adjustable strap there. There's your initial, your first eye, well, your eyepiece. Okay, that's, that's nice. Bit of focus uh, adjustment on there, I think. And then over at the main bit, the important bit, I guess it's all important, but the main lens, you've got a lens cover that is attached, not like a rubber one that you might lose or anything. So 
uh, is the actual main objective lens there. Let's turn the unit on. Now, you're not going to see like, there's loads of YouTube videos where you can sort of see what's going on, but I'm just going to do this pretty basic, hold it up to the camera. So when you turn it on, there is your uh, first initial screen. And then you get, or oh, I don't know whether you can see that in there guys. Let me just, it's pretty difficult to do. So press the menu key. It's difficult to do and you can just sort of scroll through your menus and your different um, different modes and stuff so it's dead easy to use I I had a quick flick through the uh, quick start guide and that was it I, I just like, was like oh you know what I'm just gonna turn this thing on and have a good look at it and a good play of it and I've had some serious fun with this thing just uh, you know, in the back garden, I've got like a uh, plain field at the back of uh, Rack Towers where I am. And yeah, really, really good. The The range on this thing is amazing. You know, every picks up everything so clear. Really, really impressed with it. So that is an out of box look at the Infrared Zoom. New product out from Infrared. Just a bit of a simple look at, not a review. You know, there's guys that all use this thing and sort of have all sorts of hunting footage and whatnot on YouTube. But I just wanted to, you know, keep it simple, keep it real. Good quality item, feels really good. Um, not the lightest, but, uh, you know, kind of uh, the quality, the image quality of this thing pretty much just cancels that out. It is that good. So really, really cool. Simple to use. You know, that's all the controls that you've got. To power it off, you literally just keep your finger on, on the power button and it will count down. And then it shuts down like so. But yeah, really, really nice item. Product thermal from infrared really really impressive this stuff the technology of these uh these thermals are just really blowing me away at the minute i i admit yes i am pretty new to it you know i'm not i'm not really a hunter i do pest control and stuff like that but i'm not really sort of you know you you full-on hardcore hunter that goes out every weekend or anything so i admit i am pretty new to these but since having a player of um I'm um, just, I am blown away by the technology. And I've used quite a few now. I did a thermal evening with Livens Gun Shop here in the UK. And so I got to play with quite a, a lot of uh, thermal and night vision products. And this one has literally uh, just been sent to me. So this is very, really, really new, this one is. And wow amazing clever stuff clever stuff anyway guys that is it that is just an out of box look at the infrared zoom i am impressed but you guys who do the hunting well i'm sure time will tell because you guys you will use this stuff way more than what i will you know i'm just the sort of thing i'll use this for is looking for my blinking dog when it escapes at night. Anyway guys, that is it. Thanks for watching. That is Rack and Load. See ya.